I have one more after this one, um, and that'll be it. Now, when solving a problem like this, yes, we do need to make sure we go back and revisit PEMDAS. Okay. Now, remember, PEMDAS, the P stands for parentheses, but really it's to stand for like grouping symbols um, because it can represent uh, brackets and it can represent parentheses. They're just ways for us to group them. Now, when we're doing parentheses or grouping symbols, we always need to look for the innermost. You can see this bracket is kind of large. And inside the bracket, there is another set of grouping symbols, which are these parentheses. So then inside the parentheses, yes? Is the bracket considered like parentheses? It's the same thing. It's just a different way to write them. Okay? Um, and they're just, that's why a lot of times we just call them grouping symbols rather than parentheses. It's really just grouping symbols. How can you group expressions together or group terms together? Yeah, you could, if you wanted me to do this, here. Just put a G in front of D. It means no difference. The only reason why sometimes we like represent as brackets rather than parentheses is when you have like a double parenthesis, it can kind of be hard, you know, to really like see it. But it's the same thing, okay? Now, again, going back to what you need to do, you need to have the most inner, innermost parentheses you work on first. So what we do is we look at these innermost parentheses, and I have x minus 1. Now, can I simplify x minus 1? No, Harris, why can I not simplify that? Exactly, because they are not like terms, right? You have an x and you have a negative 1, OK? I know, exactly, because you shouldn't need a half a second if you were paying attention, right? Uh -huh. So anyways, so what we have here is x minus 1. However, when I look on the outside of this, Sheldon. I just mentioned to you guys, I've already told you everything I need. Just give me the focus on last thing. We have, two more, we have one more after this. You guys have x minus 1. We obviously can't simplify it um, because it's, they're not like terms. However, we see that there's a 2 here. So I'm going to apply that operation. All right. Now, I'm going to rewrite the whole problem again just to make sure that I'm not missing any steps. 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So now, by applying distributive property, I have eliminated that innermost parenthesis. Now, inside this parenthesis, I'm still on the P on PEMDAS. Inside this one, can I simplify this by combining like terms? Yeah, 5x and 2x. So let's write the problem again. You can see we're getting smaller and smaller. 5x plus 2x is 7x minus 2. Now, I cannot simplify these any further. Yes? You could do distributive property for all those. That's not a problem as well. I'm just showing it like a step by step by step. And yeah, that's a way to kind of quickly go through it. That's perfectly fine as well. Um, now, you can apply distributive property again. So we'd have 18x squared minus 3 plus 2 times 7 is 14x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. The reason, actually, another reason why I don't teach that is because, yes, applying distributive property works here, but it's not going to work here, because what if you did 2 times 5x, 2 times 2, 2 times x, 2 times negative 1? I know, I know. If you understand what you're doing, that's fine. But a lot of students will make the mistake because they're trying to do what this is, and they'll do it up here. So that's why I just want to teach, simplify inside the parentheses, then apply distributive property. Yeah, okay? Yeah, it happens. Now, we combine our like terms. We combine our like terms, which we notice that we have an x, 18x squared, but in them we have a positive 14x. Well, I, those are not, remember, they do not have the same variable factors. x squared has the variable factors x times x, where this 14x just has x. Then I have minus 3, minus 4. So my final answer is 18x squared plus 14x. Negative 3 minus 4 is going to be a negative 7. And that would be your simplified answer. Okay.